I dropped it. <laughs> it has that. Oh. Well. Hello, beautiful souls. In today's video, I wanted to talk about something that really matters in life because everybody's looking for it. And I'm not going to tell you the exact thing, but I'm going to tell you how it works in the big picture. And I'm talking about the meaning of life. And if you find the meaning of life, then you're happy wherever you are, in whatever situation you're put in. And the meaning of life is to truly see that you can grow from every situation. You always want to get better. You can perceive everything as a positive teaching in your life. And you love to grow and you love to learn. And you always want to keep living your life more and expanding your mind and your knowledge within, within you. So the meaning of life is just to get to know yourself to the fullest, love yourself fully. And once you've been truly honest and you've done the shadow work, like most people have some shadows or some doubts in their minds and limiting belief systems that they have to like accept and love and start moving away from and seeing the positive teachings and seeing that if you let go of those things that you perceive as negative, then you can turn it into a positive teaching to help you grow in your soul and in your life and to just have happiness everywhere and now we're talking about the meaning of life and the meaning of life could be like my meaning of life is part of making youtube videos to help people and walking around spreading awareness and love everywhere which is probably everybody's meaning of life like spreading love everywhere but like the youtube thing or other hobbies i have whatever i'm doing that's my meaning in my dream of me, the meaning of life. But in this video, I'm talking about just the big picture of meaning of life. And that's just a happy person looks at problems like challenges and look forward to growing from having these things in their life. Unhappy persons complain about their problems and doesn't do anything about it. It just puts out negative words about it. Bear, 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 bear. My life is like this, like, like that. I cannot do this. I, this happens. I, this, this, this. Just excuses everywhere. A happy person just keeps growing and loves challenges. Whatever comes up in their life. And I'm not saying that you never get sad or anything. A person that's truly happy all the time can still get sad. But they'll probably get sad for like a day or two if something really serious happens. But then they'll get over it because they know it's in the past once they deal with it. There's a lot of things like this thing. You, have, you just truly have to go within and see what... I would recommend even going within by going out in nature. Walk out in the nature somewhere where you're completely alone. And you can truly be quiet. You can only hear maybe the bird sings and the wind blow. And then once you're really quiet, you will hear your real higher self's inner voice. Your God frequency, your life force energy, your your true soul or whatever you want to call it will speak freely once you're in true silence and you quiet these voices in your mind of I could have done this, I should have done that, I blah 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 that your mind is just constantly in these movies of life I don't remember exactly who said this but some some Zen or Buddhist guy said that most people suffer from then 80% of what people suffer from is just in their minds or even more they build up scenarios that they're afraid of, they have fears or worries about that could happen if they do something or if they do that or if just in their normal life it can happen at any time. And this is all in their minds until you do it enough. So you gradually you will manifest it through the law of attraction or the law of karma. It's basically it's different different laws or whatever you want to call it and how to do it but it means the same things the energy that you give out is what you get back so if you're truly kind to everybody and you react in a kind way that even if someone gets angry and you're your true self and you always show kindness they will not keep being angry because they don't will be like oh. and you can confront them not like you know just in a loving way and be like why are you angry and what's the root of this and whatever and you can speak about it because you're so calm within yourself so any situation is you can always give love and if you can turn everything to a positive and give love in every second of your life and love is also the truth sometimes sometimes that hurts but you know the truth so you can explain it in a loving way 
then you've found the meaning of life. If you're happy everywhere, life is meditation. You can do anything at any point and you're just happy with life, whatever the external world has to offer. I truly believe that's the meaning of life. But then there's other meanings of life, like what's your dream, like what's your, exactly you, your individual, you, not our collective, we. Everybody is the same on the inside, our souls the same, we're the same being in different forms. But then we also have this cool world we live in where we have individualized dreams, which are also part of the collective dream. But we have our role to play to get to the collective dream. And you have your own body, so you have your own dreams and choices and life and master of your own reality. You're like a universe yourself, you're a god, you're a frequency, you're, you're everything and nothing at the same time. So the thing is, go in nature, find yourself, mindfulness. Like really reset, like if you have all these built up things from work, stress, worries, whatever, and you're constantly in a rush to do that and that, or worried about that, or could have done that, should have done that. Go out in nature, connect with the trees, sit and breathe. And remember, it doesn't just have to be that you quiet your mind. Meditation is also contemplating and thinking about the things that you've been doing, and then you can overthink it, but thinking in the in a positive way, then it's always meditation. If you're contemplating in a positive way how to grow in your mind and creating things that make you happy in your mind, that's also meditation. But if you have a lot of things flying around and constantly in your mind and practicing mindfulness, just deep breathing and going out in the woods and really making it pretty quiet in your mind and maybe just let it flow and breathe until it's truly is like quiet for a while and you can hear your inner voice that tells you you guides you into being happy all the time and what you've been doing that you have to work on and instead of judging yourself for having these flaws you love yourself for all your flaws and you're willing to work on them and you look forward for to these challenges then you will be happy all the time because there's no such thing as a negative thing everything is positive Everything you can take from your flaws, you can turn into a positive and be like, oh, I want to work on this and I love growing and I love learning. We're students of life. We can be inspired by everything we touch or see or person we meet. We can learn constantly every day and we keep growing every day and learning more. And the more I will learn, the more I will share with you guys and my life will just get more knowledge and knowledge all the time. I'm already happy in every moment, but the more knowledge I have, the more I can spread that knowledge and help even more around the world. So it's, I was talking about the law of karma, law of attraction stuff. It's like, you think good about yourself, you have good thoughts in your mind about yourselves and others, then you will get good things in your life. And you had this synchronized with speaking good about everything and being thankful for life, even like waking up and being like, thank you life for saying thank you to people all the time, just truly being humble, kind and loving towards everybody through words, thoughts and actions. And if you follow words, thoughts and actions and always have them positive in a loving way, and I'm not saying if you get a negative thought, you're going to be like, oh, fuck, no, 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 just let it pass and remember to try to move on with a positive thought. If the negative one happened, accept it, love it and consciously create more positive thoughts and after a while these thoughts will just slowly become less and less and less and you'll just have positive left and if you follow all these things with action speech emotions and thoughts because all these things manifest reality there's everything's made of vibrations everything you think something something vibrates outside in this world that we live in and every time you speak it directly affects the outcome of your life and other people's lives mostly yours but if you're with other people for sure you can spread your vibration onto them and if you're constantly vibrating in a high frequency and the high frequency of god and love then you will spread it like wildfire and that's all i had to say this video i think like spread love be yourself find yourself Go out in nature, find it, love yourself for everything you've ever done. Find the meaning of life. And the meaning of life is just to be happy everywhere and find the positive teaching in everything.
you can always spin everything into a positive once you perceive everything as positive i'm i'm sure you found the meaning of life and i'm not saying that you can't look at the uh, problems and challenges in the world but you can look forward to solving the problems and challenges in the world instead of complaining about them that's kind of the view that you can be like oh but the negative sure no no but you can be happy about being the one that wants to solve it and have the solutions for these challenges or problems whatever you want to call them and i love you all and then this is the big picture of me in your life. We all have our small meanings of life, what our hobbies are, what our arts that we love to do, that we can help the world and help ourselves and enjoy while doing, that truly sp spread joy and love. And I hope you find yours. I know you will, if you just look for it. If we get what we seek, if we always just follow the path of love in our hearts. And one love, and peace out, subscribe, whatever, like, I love you all, peace.